Welcome back to Viking Football with Bruce Barnum as the Vikings get ready to take on the 14th ranked Montana Grizzlies. That game is on the road at 2 p.m. in Montana. That's a 1 p.m. Pacific time kickoff and you can hear the game on Rip City Radio in Portland. Let's talk about the game at Idaho. The Vikings uh, losing in a defensive struggle 20 to 7. Uh, a defensive battle that you don't normally see in the Big Sky Conference, but uh, your defense played very, very well. Gave up only 13 points, and after about eight minutes to go in the second quarter, they gave up about 100 yards the remainder of the game. So what was it about your defense that was so effective Saturday? Uh, proud of them, uh, Mike. It's a new system that, you know, there's weaknesses to it. You know, there's ways to attack it, and they're learning those. Um, they're playing together, and, and they know how people are going to attack them and, you know, what's going to happen on game day, um, and it's leading to more stops. So I um, was very happy. They put it that our defense put us in a position to win that football game. And after uh, some early action, uh, they did a pretty good job of stopping the run. Idaho tried to kind of resort to a little bit of a short passing game, and, and you know, they, they really weren't able to mount any uh, extensive drives uh, in the second half of that football game. Yeah, uh, again, fun to watch. You, know, you saw quarterback pressure. Um, you saw a stop in the run, but uh, and, and we had a turnover, you know, mixed in with, with Romeo's interception, right? Is that who caught it? Artis. Artis, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm busy with offense. Well, Romeo had a, had a big tackle for loss in the game. He did. I saw that too. But, um, again, they put a, uh, the great thing is they put us in a position to win. Uh, field position, you know, uh, battled back and forth, but... Um, I was happy with how the defense played. Okay, now the other side of the football, offensively, the one you're a little more closely attached to. The Vikings struggling a little bit in the first half, partly because they didn't even possess the football. Idaho controlled time of possession. Finally got things going at the start of the third quarter. Um, uh, but what was the cause, maybe the sluggishness offensively? Um, first off, good job, Idaho. You know, um, they stopped a, a group that had been playing pretty well up to that game. Um, early on, yes, you know, that, that first drive I've never seen in college football. Uh, we were watching a lot of it. Uh, a team actually used three timeouts in a drive. I've never seen that, but um, a slow start, yes. Um, you know, uh, had to make some adjustments, you know, out of uh, getting something going at halftime. And, and we did come it out in the second half, but I couldn't turn the, the second drive into points. and. Um, have to overcome that. You know, that, that's on me. I run the offense, so um, that has to be changed. Um, and we'll give them a package uh, that they can execute uh, more efficiently this week uh, and get after the Grizz. All right, let's talk about the Grizzlies. Montana 4-1 and one on the season, 2-0 and oh in the Big Sky Conference, come off a win over Cal Poly, uh, ranked 14th in the nation. Uh, they got a lot going their way, and it kind of starts with the quarterback, as it does with most good teams. Dalton Snead, he's a great run-pass combination. He's, he's rushed for about 400 yards this season, and he throws it well. Uh, what do you see from that quarterback? He's impressive. He's fun to watch. You know, and, and you watch what he does after, after he hands the ball off or throws it. You know, he's kind of the, uh, that battery Iron Man has on his chest. You know, that, that's kind of how he is for the Grizz. He's blocking for the tailback on, on a play. He's, he, you can see him. He's a spark. You know, he's fun to watch. So um, he's doing well. Uh, he's putting him in uh, great situations, and he's pitching and delivering the ball to people. And uh, running back Adam Eastwood is a great compliment to him, uh, also close to 400 yards. And a team that looks like they like to pass a lot, but they really have good balance on offense. They do. Uh, they, I, I think their team has good balance. You know, you look at offensively, they're doing playing very well. Um, their defense, uh, they're, they're high. I might be leading the country in takeaways. You know, I think they're plus nine, uh, one of my coaches told me, but um, playing well all around. Uh, but their offense uh, is giving everybody fits. Uh, um, so hopefully we can uh, make a couple stops and make them punt at Washington Grizz. All right, and on defense, a couple of linebackers lead the way there. Dante Olson leading the nation in tackles. And then Josh Buss, a star in the Big Sky Conference, also having another big year. And those are the guys that you have to game plan for, I'm sure. We do, and it's, it's a good crew. You know, everybody's aware of Buss. You know, his motor, how he plays. I mean, the kid's a stud. Um, 
I like their corners. I like, I like what they're doing. You, you know, Kent, their defensive coordinator, uh, is doing some unique things. He's kind of bringing back, you know, <laughs> let's send the kitchen sink at them. Uh, a lot of movement and that up front, but they're they're doing well with it, and they're getting turnovers. I mean, I, we, we showed our group uh, yesterday, offensive group, just the turnovers they're getting, you know, not just at Washington Grizz, and they're getting them. They caught a pitch of Tim's last week for a touchdown. Um, so they're opportune defense, and they play hard. All right, so the Vikings are up against a very tough team on the road. Uh, what's it going to take for Portland State to uh, pull off a big upset here? Adjust to the 12th man first. I don't have one person on this team that's been to that stadium to play. Uh, probably the top FCS, I think, venue in the country. Uh, it rivals FBS schools. Uh, it's a fun atmosphere, and that's how we're approaching it. Um, but take care of the football. People get in that stadium and panic, you know. Uh, they, they get a touchdown or they make a big play, and um, Monty, the mascot, and you know, everybody in the, the stadium starts screaming. We have to be able to overcome that, not hear the noise, take care of the football, uh, and get after him. All right, there it is. Uh, we don't want to see Monty, the mascot, dancing around too much on Saturday. The Vikings and the Grizz this Saturday at Washington Grizzly Stadium in Missoula. You can watch it on Pluto TV. You can also hear it on Rip City Radio, 1 p.m. Pacific Time kickoff. Get all your information on Vikings football at GoVikes.com.